Coming up today on YOLO Texas. We're selling 50 years of hospitality, camaraderie, Crow history of Turkey Fest, and so we're just glad to have y'all here. Uh, it's very relaxed, it's a family atmosphere, being able to shine a light on Texas country and, and all of these fabulous artists. What's good about this is it's super, really easy to make, but it looks super fancy. Join us on our trip across Texas. Turkey Fest. Oh, this is so exciting! It what is can very we exciting. get into today? Well, today we're celebrating 50 years of Quirrell Turkey Fest, 50 Ooh. years of turkey racing, 50 years of parades like this one that you see here, uh -huh. 50 years of festivals and entertainment, and of course when we race turkeys, we have our Ruby Begonia and we have Minnesota Paycheck. Begonia, so, Minnesota Paycheck. So okay. <laughs> Minnesota is here as well. Awesome. So we claim to be the uh, turkey capital of the world. Unfortunately, there was another city up north that claimed to be the turkey capital of the world oh. in Worthington, Minnesota. <laughs> so two journalists got together and they decided that they were going to settle this little rivalry of who was going to be the turkey capital of the world by doing a turkey race. We're going to do a turkey race today. today Absolutely. Here, I'm referee. You are refereeing. This is your official ref jersey and your VIP pass for the day. It's serious business, so I hope you're ready. <laughs> I don't know that, uh, I think Paycheck tried to give Ruby a kiss or something, <laughs> and uh, Ruby wouldn't have anything to do with it, so he got on out of town and, and came up to the finish line first. All right, that was a tough loss out there. Tell me what's going through the mind of the team right now. Well, you know, in professional turkey racing, anything can happen, and our bird just loves squirrels so much, wants to go visit with the crowd, and, and we finally got him back out on the road, and then he started running well, but yes. just such a social bird. And, you know, they treat us so nice down here, you just want to be friendly. There you have it. It's an intense race today. And none other than the hometown town of Cuero took away the win at Turkey Fest 50 year anniversary.
Turkey Fest itself mm -hmm. started, uh, as you know, 50 years ago. Yeah. And that was uh, at the end of the turkey trots. Mm -hmm. They would uh, drive the turkeys okay. down the streets, and the railhead was out here at the park. Mm -hmm. And so the turkeys would start here and then go downtown. Oh, and wow. People came from Much miles. longer than yes. our race today. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And there would be thousands, you know, 10, 12, 15, 16,000 turkeys that oh would drive. They load them up on the railroad cars uh -huh. and then ship them north. Uh -huh. And the event was held in early November uh -huh. so that everybody had their turkey on their table for uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, yes. <laughs> the Turkey Fest mm -hmm. established. Okay, now who's going to be the the turkey capital of the world, right? Not, not just not just the U.S. Yes, yeah, the, the whole world. world. Yeah. And Worthington challenged us. Yeah. And so they found a turkey named Paycheck. Because <laughs> nothing goes faster than a paycheck. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then we had Ruby Begonia. Yeah. And she's done extremely well. How poetic that the hometown yeah. wins the 50th anniversary. How about that? Yes. We does. want her back next year for a three piece. He'll try. Cheers! Tell me about your barbecue. What do we have here? We got barbecue beef brisket. We started this morning at 5 o'clock. Some of us didn't okay. get here at 5. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Right before Texas. Barbecue Row. I don't know what's better, the hospitality or the barbecue. This place is amazing. 